So I'm here at the library, just chilling. There's actually some benches out here. I don't know if I've ever seen people sitting here, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it. So today I was thinking about not only generosity, but I was thinking about asking for generosity or asking for help. Uh, Thanksgiving's coming up next week, and so I'm sure we'll hear a lot about thankfulness. But what I don't think we realize is that unless we ask for help, a lot of times we don't have thankfulness. We're not thankful for things we don't get, and a lot of times we refuse to ask because we're too prideful or because maybe we just don't want to be uncomfortable and admit that we're wrong or that we're not good at something. But I think there are a lot of ways that giving show up on a college campus, so I wanted to walk through those. First example, so these learning commons are underneath the library, and they were donated by a family just about two years ago. So colleges are, if, are not for profit. They don't make money off our tuition. They use it to create a better environment. And so they don't exist without an endowment, without people and alumni giving back to the place that helped them. Places don't continue to grow unless people who received help give help back. So a lot of times we associate asking for help with an academic sense, right? I ask my professor if I don't know the curriculum or I ask my, the kid next to me if I missed the homework we wrote down. And the thing is, I think we most often go to the kid next to us. We don't want to go talk to the professor because we don't want to seem like we don't know what we're doing. Which is kind of crazy because we're in a class learning about things that we don't know about. So to have a question about it makes sense, right? I think we need to get over the fact that people aren't perfect. And we need to accept that asking for help isn't a sign of weakness, but it's a sign of intelligence. It's a mark of a curious person. Whoa, look! Yeah! They're playing ultimate frisbee. Guys, look, wait, wait, wait. Frisbee's the best sport in the world! It is! It's so much fun! Wow! That's amazing. Toss me the frisbee. Boom, I caught it. Wow, this is crazy. This is really close to people's faces. Person! Pick someone, Justin! Uh, Sam! What? Sam! Pink! Print <laughs> features. Discraft sponsors us. Yeah, Discraft. Uh, buy their plates. So as I was thinking about getting help, I was thinking of one of the spots on campus where people get help all the time. The tutoring center. So, your tutor would sit here, and then you come in and you'd sign in on one of these clipboards. Just, just knocked over a picture of Allie. But, what I find most interesting is that there's not a lot of tutors. The school would hire more tutors if more people would ask for them. This means that people who need help aren't asking for it. The problem here is an issue of passion. We're not passionate about math or chemistry generally. These classes are things that are hard for us, but not ones that we enjoy or love. For example, I'm a passionate runner, and if I want to improve, I'll do what it takes to improve, even if it's uncomfortable. The problem is people don't do that when it comes to academics. When we reach out for help, we don't just learn technical skills. We also build personality traits. We learn humility and empathy, and we get a look into someone else's life. When I ask a professor for help, not only do I learn about them as a professor and as an educator, but I learn about them as a person and as a human being. Asking for help reminds us that we aren't perfect and we can always benefit from the help of others. I want to thank all of the college for sponsoring all the vlogs and blogs that we do. If you want to see the rest of my videos, check the link in the description below. Also, if you want to check out all of our college's Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, I'll include links to those. This is Bruce Baker, signing off.